we're not a great big place, but uh, notice where the book ends today. Freddie Davila was my student. <laughs> And I'm so grateful for the inspiration that he's given me and other students, not only on our campus, but now throughout the, the on-course world. Um, I want everyone here to have a copy of his artwork so you can understand what his talk was all about. And you really need to go hear his, read his story five times more. <laughs> and it's in chapter two of the seventh edition. I'm also proud of Annette Valle. She was in chapter six, so Victoria's little, but you know, we're the Lone Star State. <laughs> May I begin? Like many institutions in higher ed, Victoria College wrestles with issues of retention and student engagement. Back in 2006, the college administration made a very wise choice while searching for initiatives to increase overall student success. They sent a small probe team to the first ever on-course conference in St. Louis, Missouri. The four individuals comprising this team were diversified in their intent. One was seeking research-based theory and methods. One was looking for ideas to enrich the classroom experience. One wanted to improve counseling interventions, and another just wanted to find a textbook that would be a hit with students. What we found at the on-course conference provided answers for us collectively. The concept of an on-course team took off from there. The goal was to create a culture of success by exposing our students, faculty, and staff members to the on-course principles. Unfortunately, not every key player on campus was convinced about our game plan. So maintaining connectivity as a team was crucial to keep our spirits lifted and our momentum ongoing. Initially, we adopted the on-course textbook and the curriculum for our student success course. Simultaneously, we utilized grant funding to send as many individuals as possible from all corners of campus to an on-course one workshop. A core of attendees became on-course ambassadors and led the way in promoting creator language on our campus. <coughs> a particularly val uh, valuable team player was our director of tutoring, who after attending her first on-course conference in 2007, designed a training program for all of her tutors so they could speak the language of responsibility to the students they mentored. Student support services program leaders were likewise implementing on-course principles in their activities. In 2010, on-course became a mandatory three-hour credit course for all entering freshmen, and the retention data continues to reflect positive results. The exponentially growing numbers on our on-course team now include faculty members from all disciplines administrators, adjuncts, staff, men or, uh, staff members, advisors, and best of all, students. They keep coming back to testify how much of an impact on-course has made for them in both their academic and life experiences. If you want to grow a program, first form a team, small though it may be. The fun is guaranteed and the obstacles will seem insurmountable. Interdependence at its best. Thank you.